This is a quick video of how my son and I built an automatic dog feeder. He was kind of tired of opening the buckets and scooping out the food. We thought we could do something more automated. This was built from two two by fours and you see that we ripped those on the table saw. We put a taper in the leg to get a little bit fancy. And then the inside of the box is pretty simple. It's the other cutoffs from the two by four just screwed together. We put some covers uh, to hide the seams on the corners covered the outside in Luon, and then cut a window in the front with two and a half inch hole saws, and then connected those holes with a jigsaw. Pretty simple box. The mechanism for the bottom was the real challenge, so we have a rectangular piece that connects to the bottom of the box, and then a drum that I'm holding there. Now in the drum is that white piece that we 3D printed to be the size of the portion of food that we feed the dog each time. So we built that drum around the tube, and the key here is to get that drum exactly the right height to fit in the rectangular piece that you see on the table there. I think in the video here, I'll slide it in so you'll see the, the fit. And that fit's really important so that the food doesn't get trapped in between those, those moving pieces. And the idea here is that once the bolt's put in place, you can pull the lever and rotate that drum so the holes can line up in different spots. Now what we have here is the assembled mechanism. You can see that when you pull the handle to one direction, that drum rotates around. The hole from the drum lines up with the bottom of the feeder and the food falls into that little white cup. And then as you see from the bottom, when you pull the lever the other direction, the hole on the bottom lines up and the food falls out through the bottom of the feeder. So pretty simple mechanism, but it seems to work really well. Once we finished building it, we moved on to painting. The box itself, we just covered with some latex paint that we had lying around and some primer as well. And then on the inside of that, we glued in a piece of plexiglass, and this is really just for that window to see the level of the dog food, so we know when to refill the thing. The moving parts we spray painted with a different color, and this is a shot of my son sanding that. I think we sanded to 400 grit, just so everything would have a nice smooth surface to move along. Here's the final assembly, uh, installing the mechanism on the bottom of that box, making sure that everything moves freely. And then it's really just some wood glue and some brads to hold the whole thing together. Once we finished the assembly, we then brought the whole thing up to the kitchen for a test, made sure it's putting out the right amount of food. And sure enough, it works pretty well. It puts out the exact amount of food that we feed our dog. Uh, you could change the size of that white tube if you wanted to feed more or less. And then I moved on to figuring out how to get the food to move over to the bowl instead of having to pick the bowl up. First, I thought I'd have this funnel device that would attach to PVC, but I could never quite get that to work and had a disaster of a print. I think I messed up a file. So then I moved on to a second plan, which was this uh, device that has a flange on the top so I can attach it to the, the part where the food exits. And then at the bottom, it has a 60 degree angle to attach to a PVC pipe, like you see here. So that was really the, the finished product as you see it there. And the idea again is you just pull the lever to the right, the food drops into the white cup in the spinning mechanism, and then you pull it to the left, the food drops into that PVC tube and shoots into the blue bowl on the left. You can see it in action here. The food actually shoots out pretty quickly. We might have to do something about that at some point. It tends to spill all around the bowl, but our dog still eats it. Here's a shot looking from the back. You can see the food dropping out of the mechanism into the tube. And one more shot from the front end. We've been using it about a week or so. It, it works really reliably. It, it certainly makes the feeding easier. So I hope this helps someone else.